Hey guys, um, I'm back. It's been a while, I know, I know, but I don't think I actually miss out on a lot of things because this patch has been just like farming and farming and there's barely anything special to talk about. But today, I want to talk about something that people are actually curious about because a lot of people confuse that whether they should use Hazen for Chrome as a sub DPS for your Lightning team or should they go for just um, a Da Vinci set, which is going to be this one, right? This is actually a really good set for Chrome as well as a support QT character. So a lot of people are confused about, should I just go for like Hazen Chrome to make him do more damage because you heard um, somebody else talking about Chrome as a sub DPS actually deals more damage as a whole compared to just using Da Vinci for him to kind of like support Bianca. So I want to kind of take in depth look into that and kind of explain like which set should you use and eventually which, which set should you switch to. So we're going to talk about all of it in this video. Now first, before we talk about that, you actually have to learn how to build a lightning team first. I know a lot of OGs already know how to build that, but this is for the new players, right? If you're planning to build a lightning team, this is how your team should go for. Bianca is the main DPS, which is on the left one. In the middle is going to be Chrome, the tank, and on the right side is going to be Lift Lux, the healer one, A-class lips, right? This is a very, very standard lightning team. If you don't have like Bianca, this one. You could go for this Lightning Lucia if you want to, if you don't have Bianca, but I would generally prefer Bianca. So this is how you build a team. If you don't have Chrome, I don't know why you won't have it, because you could actually farm it for free this patch. If you don't have A-Class Live, maybe you should go into the gacha and maybe you could try out your luck if you have any free tickets left. So this is how you actually build a perfect Lightning team. Now, Hasten or Da Vinci on your Chrome. I don't think you actually need any explanation. If you're purely just looking for the numbers for the damage, Hasten definitely do more damage if you're using Chrome on the field, right? But it really comes down to your playstyle. My personal playstyle is I use Bianca most of the time, like 95% of the time, I'm just using Bianca. I barely switch unless I really, really have to. So for my kind of playstyle, Da Vinci would be like the greatest option because I barely switch to my Chrome anyway. So my Chrome won't actually have the chance to utilize the damage with Hazen. But if your playstyle is about like switching and you switch really, really often, you have Chrome on your field like 30% of the time, then I will actually just prefer you to go for like Hazen because Da Vinci really doesn't provide any extra damage or any value if you switch that often. If you don't switch that often, just go for Da Vinci, right? Support your DP, uh, Bianca DPS fully, but if you switch a lot and you like to play that kind of playstyle, just go for Hazen. It would be a better option. Now, when would you switch from using Da Vinci to Hazen, right? That's kind of like an endgame question, but it's not really an endgame question. It really depends on your account. If by any chances you try to attempt for like a signature weapon for let's say Plume but you end up getting like a signature weapon for Chrome, at that point if you are willing to max the level, you know, get him to level 80, upgrade all his abilities, so far I only have like QT upgraded because I'm using him as a QT slave, but if you fully upgraded his abilities and you actually have his signature weapon and you don't just get him to like A class, right? You actually got like a few more shots and you could upgrade him to like single S or double S, at that point, I would just recommend you to use Hasten. Try to switch it up. Why would I recommend you to use Hasten? Because at that point, a fully upgraded sub DPS actually does way more damage compared to just using QT to support your main DPS because there's only so much damage your main DPS could do. If you actually have a fully upgraded Chrome as a sub DPS, try to switch it up your place, all right? Try to force yourself to adapt like kind of a new place out switch to your Chrome sub DPS and kind of do damage. I can tell you that a fully upgraded um, Chrome as a sub DPS with his signature weapon, got him to like a single S or double S, actually does way more damage compared to like just using Da Vinci to support your Bianca. So it's really up to you. Thanks for watching, hope it's helpful. And I'm probably gonna have a couple more videos uploaded in a few days. I think there hasn't been anything that I could talk about in this patch because it's mainly just been like farming. But if Plume is going to be introduced in the next patch, I think we're going to have a lot more to talk about. It's going to be like kind of an exciting patch for the next patch. This patch is kind of dead, you know, kind of dead. That's why I've been MIA for like two to three weeks. But thanks for watching. Hope you like it. If you feel, if you think that it's helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.